All right, guys, so uh, I'm about out of WD-40. Uh, I got to looking at the prices of this stuff now. And a can, this 12-ounce can, is right around 8 bucks. That's about 63 or 64 cents an ounce. You can get a gallon for $29. That's about 22 cents an ounce. The problem is I like the convenience of having it in a can to where, you know, you just spray it out. Now, you, you do have the pump style the uh, bottles that you can just pump manually and that works too but i've seen these videos where people are taking uh valve stems and they're soldering them into cans so they can refill cans and i like that idea uh so i've come up with a kind of a system here that uh, i'm going to give a try i've only done this one other time it did work and we're going to do it on this can i made this little uh adapter and what it does, well, first of all, this is what I start out with. This, uh, I get off Amazon and 12 packs, and th these are actually for tractor tires, and then I machine them down to this right here. So basically what I do is I machine all this off. I machine this little nub here down to 3 sixteenths, and then uh, solder it into the uh, can. So let's take the valve core out. That way we don't ruin it because we've got a plastic bit there. Now it's all brass. And what I've made here is a copper tip for a 40 watt soldering iron to where this fits right in that, uh, right on this copper tip. And now this heats up. And without using a torch, we can solder this to the, uh, to the can. And I also don't use a drill bit. I'll, I'll show you what I do, and I think it's a better better way to do it. But the first thing we got to do is clear off a little space right here. Now, this was originally starting fluid. Uh, it's pretty much empty. I just sprayed the last bit of air out of it, and I think I'm going to put this valve core right in line uh, with the back here. And the first thing we're going to do is... Uh, just take some emery paper, sandpaper, uh, whatever you got. Steel wool would probably work. Now this I'm having to go through the, the ink and everything, so it might take a while. So I'm probably going to go through a few of these. The uh, the regular cans, like this here, has just got a coating on them that you got to get through, and it won't take near as long. But I want to do this can. I like these one-piece cans like this. It's just got the crimped on top. Uh, so let me see if I can get through this ink and, uh, I'll turn the camera back on. All right, guys. So I got the little spot cleaned off, took a little bit of, uh, scrubbing about three or four minutes with this emery cloth. I don't know what grit this is. I also hit a little bit with some acetone and, uh, just scrubbed on it and it came off pretty good. Um, the next thing I'm going to clean this up real good, make sure it's perfectly clean. And then we're going to poke a hole in here using a punch. And to me, that's a better method than drilling. You can drill too. That's fine. Uh, if you drill, uh, use a uh, automatic center punch so that you can get you a little spot right there. That way you're not walking all over the can. Um, so the next thing, let me get a hole poked in this. And then we're going to uh, start soldering this up. All right, so to get a hole poked in this, I'm just going to put my punch right here, right in the center, give it a sharp little tap, and we've already got a hole. And I'm just going to open that up just big enough for a piece right here. That's perfect, right there. So I'm going to make sure that both these surfaces are clean. We're going to tin both these, and then we're just going to hit this with that soldering iron and uh, get that soldered on there. And yeah, I know, I didn't get that centered up. I should have paid more attention. Okay, hopefully the soldering iron's hot enough. I'm going to put just a little bit of flux right around this.
All right, that's nice and tinned up. I'm gonna clean my tip off because I don't want to get solder inside the uh, valve core. I'm just going to take the valve core, stick it right on there like that. Again, just a little bit of flux. Take just a little bit for the valve core to come up to temp. go now stick it right it down in there like that maybe throw a little bit more solder let it wick in let her cool off And that should be a good seal and then we'll uh, put air in it and make sure it doesn't leak and then we'll, I'll show you how I'm gonna fill it all right guys hopefully you can see a that nice seal float in real nice little thin right here but I think underneath you know where it mates together I think it's probably going to be fine. We'll check. If I need to hit it a little bit more, I can always heat this back up and uh, throw some more solder in there. So let's go ahead and put this valve core in. These cans, they say, is uh, rated for about 100 PSI or so. Uh, I've got my compressor, my regulator set. to about a hundred. You sure feel that can get warm. You not hear anything leaking? Now, we'll, now that we know it's not leaking, we will uh, go ahead and fill her up. And I'll show you what I found to fill these up real nice and easy. A little squeeze bottle right here. It's got the perfect size little hole. So let me get my gallon of uh, WD-40. Little Harbor Freight funnel. Now these are only three ounces. This bottle is only three ounces. So gonna just have to make multiple goes of it. No big deal. You only fill these cans about half full or so. You don't fill them all the way to the top because you got to have a little bit of uh, space for the air. There's three ounces. Six ounces. Oh, 
Hopefully you can see how that tip just fits. Oh. Kind of made a mess there. Okay. So that's nine ounces. Feels like it's maybe about half full. So let's throw this valve core in there. Let's fill it up with the air. Let's see how she performs. Might as well put the cap on, huh? We'll go ahead and come over here to the lathe and we'll just kind of give the lathe a little shot. I typically don't use WD-40 uh, except on aluminum, but to kind of demo how this works. There you go. And I always save my caps from different uh, different things because they got different spray patterns. And whenever you find a cap that you like, as far as how it sprays, then you can just take this cap off, pop another one on there. And you've got different spray patterns. So that's something that you can do. Obviously a good way to make sure it's not leaking is to tilt it up to where you've got fluid on the back side of this Schrader. If you see any fluid coming out, then you got a leak. Now some people will put that Schrader on the bottom. And that's fine. Uh, it's out of the way. You know, it's... I mean, that would be nice. Now this Schrader would probably be a little bit too long for this one now I could machine these even shorter if I needed to the only problem that I don't like about having it on the bottom is if if the valve core itself you know the part that's got the little rubber seal if that ever started leaking you know depending on what you've got in your can if you've got something a little bit harsh that could soften that seal up and then it starts leaking wherever you've got your can sitting you might come out the next day and you got a big puddle of carburetor cleaner whatever so if it's up top and that seal ever starts leaking, it's just going to leak the air because, you know, what you've got up top here is just air. The bottom is where your fluid's at. Put mine up top. I've only done one other one of these, and uh, it turned out just as good as this, so I figured I'd go ahead and show, do a video to show my method for doing this particular mod to these cans. Anyway, we're pretty much done. Um... Again, I'll put links to these. Uh, these are actually for a tractor tire. They're all brass. Uh, I, of course, you don't use this O-ring. And I uh, turn them down to where it's just a 3 16th nub. So if you do use a drill bit, um, and if you turn them down to 3 16 you can just use a 3 16 drill, and then this would fit in the hole. And, you know, I mean, if you guys needed some of these, uh, I'd be willing to machine some of these down and uh, work out some kind of a price. Make the tip, make you one of these tips for a, this is a Weller 40-watt soldering iron where it's just got the screw you break loose and then you stick a quarter-inch uh, shanked uh, tip into it. Uh, I'd make a tip for you, machine down, you know, four of these. And that way you'd be able to do four different cans and we could work out some kind of a price. I'm not intending to sell these, but if there's enough people that would want to do this, uh, that is an option. Anyway, we're done. Nice little Schrader valve on pretty much any kind of can that you've got to make it refillable. You guys take care.